The big shot from Osaro drops Barcus. Such short notice, but we know they're watching with that. Oh, the right hand just dropped Jones. That is a two, knockdown, and it came out three, of nowhere. Four. Murdo was looking five, for that right hand. He just six, found it. Seven. Eight. Gloves up. Jones, if the Predator can finish this, Jones just ate a knee. When Murdo sees blood, he comes after you. Jones in trouble again, and he's down for the second time, and he's out on his back. Myrtle Grunhart, the Predator, explodes in the second round and is now the interim welterweight champion of the world. Patience, patience, patience. Once the opportunity arises, the Predator comes alive. After losing the first round on all five judges' scorecards, he didn't panic. He waited for his moment, and now is calling out the real champ, Cedric Dumas. Familiar, his combinations, the way he's going to put everything together. Watch these combinations. Just like that! He kick fights well, boxes well, won two straight uppercut. Textbook knockdown. Two no the first round for the 26-year-old. Yep, one-two lead uppercut. That's one, one of his best seven, combinations seven, you'll one, see him two. throw. Then he likes to throw his kicks after, usually, if you're still standing. What do you tell? Glory rivals, too. <laughs> so Lemire's deciding to sit and come back. Oh, hey! and there's... Got the fans here pumped up as Boy. well. Over and out! out a veteran in a Vaselli was very impressive. Yeah, it's that right hand, the way he sets it up from the jab, looking to put his weight behind it. He steps through, kind of getting that long range in there, kind of just touching you, opening you up. And I just like how he puts his combinations together. It's never a single power shot. We know the right hand was going to land, but he used the jab. He used his distance. He found the right timing. And from such a young fighter, that's the kind of things we need to see. Ooh, the one oh, two he got him. him. And down goes Marcus. The big shot from Osaro drops Marcus. He's up, but for how long? That's it. It's over. Marcus unable to continue. Referee stops his fight. And Tyreek Osaro scores another big win here. The bell in round two. Stephen, finish your thought. Uh, can't because the graphics are gone. Okay. Oh, and Willis with the straight right hand drops Kidon on the spot. Like I said before, can't eat too many more of those right hands, and this one could be over. No, come here. Mandatory eight count in glory. Kidon eight that right hand, and now Willis on the attack, looking for the finish. No, 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 stop. Has to be Let's careful though, Steven. Can't get recklessly aggressive against a guy like Idal who can hit back. Idal's gonna go. Oh, and another knockdown! It's over! Mamma mia, what a spectacular finish for Jafar Willis! Jafar Willis was starting to slow down at the end of that first round, of which I felt he lost that round. But that one, it came out there and connected because they must have said, you know what? That right hand is landing. Go out and throw it with everything you got. He did. Ended the fight. Guidon is gone, thanks to the power of Jafar Wilness, who told us he knew he was stronger than Guidon. He didn't fear him. And after a Kumsi Kumsa opening round, Wilness sends a message to the rest of the heavyweights. He's here to stay, improving to 3-0 and in glory with that fantastic knockout, the fifth KO victory of his career. Jafar Wilness has turned into the spoiler. A unique Ooh, ability to drop his opponent, and just like that, Luis Tavares floors Florent Kowalski, and that is all. What a shot! Showing the 